I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out the UK. I tend to talk about a lot of different subjects and today is no different. I share my experiences. I try to um, see things from other people's point of view and I give information about all different kinds of things. And today I wanted to talk about the root canal because I couldn't sleep. For most of the night because I was so worried. I heard so many nightmare stories about a root canal and I was having one done yesterday. So I wanted to share my experience with you so anyone having a root canal can know whether or not to fear it or just take it on the chin because it really is an individual experience. Now I heard people say they had the pain shut up their head and they had to grip the the, um, the armchair and some of them jumped out of their chair and some of them were in pain and agony for days and weeks. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to go through this? But I knew I had a good dentist. That's one thing I knew. And since I've been going to her, I haven't been afraid. So part of me was still concerned but another part of me was um, a, a bit at peace because I just had faith in her. Anyway, just in case you're f if fret scared stiff of having a root canal, that's why I decided to do the video. Now, the first thing that happened why um, I went to the dentist and realised I needed a root canal was I had this constant, well, I didn't even have a toothache. It was fine one minute. And then I had some turmeric and ginger tea and it just set it off and I was in agony for a while. Well, until I got an appointment, I could kind of put clove oil on my tooth. Anyway, when I went to the dentist, she said, oh, you're going to need a root canal. And she started, she said, the tooth is cracked. Um, she told me how much it was going to cost. And then um, she said, because it included... Um, a crown, it would take me to band three, which is about two hundred and sixty-two pounds, I think, two hundred sixty-two pound eighty, or two hundred and eighty-two pound eighty, something like that. Anyway, um, I sat there and she, I did the. She did some drilling in that tooth. I didn't know what she was doing. I just assumed she was just trying to sort it out, so I didn't have a toothache. So what she did in my first appointment, because I didn't realise you needed two visits, I thought yesterday's visit was when she did the root canal, but I didn't realise she'd done the preparatory work in the first um, in the first session. So what she said is this one will take about an hour, the second session. So I had an hour, and I probably had about 45 minutes for the first time. And she, but she fi fixed two teeth. She fixed one up here and it needed a filling. That Well, my filling fell out and she had to refill it. And this one here where I had the root canal. So I remember her drilling for quite a while and I was thinking, oh my God, you know. And then she filled it with something. So I thought, okay, that's a temporary filling. So what happens when you need a root canal is the inside of the teeth, right in the middle, gets infected. And so what they have to do is drill into the centre of the tooth, dig out all the infection, the infected pulp, take out the nerve, and then they fill it up back again. Now, she said my nerve was taken out. And I think when I, went, when I was living in America, I remember going to the dentist and they did say they were going to take out the nerve. But I didn't, I didn't know it meant all the nerves because she, when I said to her, is it going to really be painful? She said, look, she said, you don't have a nerve in your gum. So what I'm doing is placebo. I'm just doing it to make you feel comfortable. So I'm giving you the anesthetic just to make you feel comfortable, not because you need it. I'm thinking to myself, yes, I bloody do. Anyway, she gave me the anesthetic the anaesthetic and I could feel it going all the way down here and it was all numb really really numb but not numb quickly because when she said oh um 
we're going to start, I'm thinking, bloody hell, you just put it in a couple of seconds ago. Give it a chance to kind of soak in. But that's when she said, you don't really need it. Anyway, you know when that drilling starts, you tense up, don't you? You really kind of, um, well, I do. I tense and I think it makes it a bit more um, impactful in your mouth. But it's hard to relax and it's almost like she had like, you know you have a cement drill and then you might have a drill to kind of drill past the board. That's what it felt like. It felt like she was using a cement drill on my tooth. But it didn't hurt. It was just like, your, your, you know, your, I guess your jaw gets traumatised. Your jaw is left open for such a long time. And that, that vibration cannot be good. Anyway, like I said, it didn't hurt. It was just the vibration that made me feel uncomfortable. So um, I was in there yesterday for about 40 minutes. The drilling was like 10 or 15 minutes. Most of the time she was scraping out. And I think that's when they reshape the tooth, the inside of the tooth, and make sure it's clean and make sure that, you know, it's the right depths or whatever they've got to do. And then I could feel her filling it, even though, um, even though it was numb. So, yeah, it was, it was much better than I thought. I even took a day's annual leave yesterday because I thought I was going to be totally out of it. And I was okay. I came out and I thought, okay, when the anaesthetic wears off, that's when the pain is going to kick in. Or now, that was done yesterday morning, finished at 11 o'clock. I still haven't had any pain. So some, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's experience is different because I heard people have pain for two days, three days, sometimes two weeks. And I had more pain last week when she was, not last week, two weeks ago, when she did the initial work, I felt as though I had a toothache afterwards. And that lasted like two or three days. Then I did this time when I didn't even, I haven't. If you told me I'd had a root canal yesterday, I wouldn't believe you because it, I just felt absolutely great. I mean, I had to send her some flowers because it was the most painless root canal ever. And yesterday was done in 40 minutes. So I was really, really pleased with that. And so I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And so you can know if you've got to have a root canal, you don't have to be scared about it. Just make sure you've got a really good dentist. Hopefully they give you enough anesthetic to make sure it's all really, really numb. Even if they say you don't need it, just make sure they give you a good anesthetic and it goes to the parts others can't reach so that it numbs every aspect of your jawline. And, um, yeah, and I guess mine was better, I guess, because the nerve had been removed before. But I don't think the nerve in that tooth, I don't know if there's a nerve in the gum. I don't know. But she did say my nerve, I didn't have a nerve, so that's why it wasn't going to be that painful. So I don't know if that particular tooth was giving me problems when I was in America. I mean, you don't remember these things, do you? So I think um, another thing which I found was very, very helpful was that my dentist goes through everything she's going to do step by step, just as she's about to do it. So you know what to expect. Like she'll say, you know, you're going to get a little pinprick. That's the, um, that's the injection, the anesthetic. She'll say, uh, I'm going to put the x-ray thing in it. It's going to feel a bit uncomfortable. It's going to press against your gum. She'll say, you know, the suction is going to make your mouth feel a bit dry. I'm going to do a little dig in. If it feels uncomfortable, just raise your hand. Um, and she just go, and yeah, she, she said about the drilling. The drilling is going to be, um, she didn't say traumatic, but she used a word that I knew I had to expect the drilling, so to speak. So I think that helped me, you know, knowing what to expect as and when it was happening. But I was really surprised how quickly it was over. Um, I think, like I said, my symptoms was sensitivity, 
and pain toothache. Um, like I said, the drilling was about 15 to 20 minutes. The rest was x-rays and digging. I think they took about two or, two or three x-rays. Um, yeah, like I said, everybody's experience is different. You're likely to need two visits. The first one prepares the tooth. And the second one, um, well, the first one removes the infection as much as they can and the pulp and the nerve in the root. And the second one, I think the second one removes the nerve and the root of the tooth and cleans and shapes the inside. I'm not quite sure because you don't know what they're doing. You can just imagine what they're doing by the digging and scraping and sticking something down there and pulling something up. At one point, it felt as like she was putting a tube in there or taking a tube out. So I don't know. So I might need another visit. I, well, I know I'm going to need two more visits for a crown. And yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you because I think it's really important that people don't get frightened. I mean, one, oh, I told uh, my boss that I was going to have a root canal. She goes, oh, I don't, I don't envy you. Oh, I feel sorry for you. And I'm like, oh, bloody hell. Another colleague at work said, oh, you know, you'll be OK. You'll be absolutely fine. And so, you know, you've got you've got different people telling you different things. What I'm telling you is don't listen to anybody. Everybody's experience is different. It doesn't have to be painful. It's just like having any other dental procedure. You're having a tooth extraction or you're having a filling, that kind of stuff. It's not going to be any different does depend on the dentist. Um, I've, Like I said, I've got a brilliant dentist and I wouldn't change it for the world. And every time I think about losing her, I think, oh, I don't know if I'd be able to find another dentist as good. Um, I have been fortunate because my last dentist was pretty good, but this one is even better and she was recommended. So yeah, all I can say is, if you do have to go to a dentist, try not to be afraid and just... Um, realize it's the quality of the dentist not the actual what's going on in your mouth that's important if you get a dentist who's gentle who's compassionate who's sensitive you know that's what you're looking for you're not looking for somebody who's rough and tumble and who you know tells you to sit down and just wants to get on with it and doesn't talk to you and he doesn't smile you know those kind of people you get up and you look for another dentist I had a dentist well there was a really plush dentist well I didn't even have it I went in there once because it looked so nice and I thought oh this is a lovely dental center and um went in there I was in there I don't even think I was in there for five minutes she literally looked in my mouth did did it did a couple of things and I was out no cleaning nothing 30 pounds and I'm like What's up with the cleaning? Oh, well, that's hygienist. That's something extra. My dentist does everything in your mouth. You know, they, she cleans the teeth. She, she does all what she needs to do. She digs them out or whatever. Takes out all the little bits. That won't be done until my next two visits when they, you know, they clean your teeth to whiten it. And I'm sorry to go on so long, but it's all these little things that make a difference. Is your, is your dentist the type to just rush you through? Are they in a hurry? Do they have a lot of patients waiting and they just want to get, get it over and done with? Those are the kind of dentists that you can feel uncomfortable and you might be afraid of having, uh, you know, something as quite, it's quite monumental having root canal, but you might be hesitant about it. So my advice would be to find, uh, like the dentist I could go to is in a, it's, all, it's in a, I don't want to say a working class area, but it's in kind of a deprived area. So you'd be quite surprised that that dental surgery, it's an NHS dental surgery, but they do do private work, but I'm on the NHS. But I was quite, you'd be quite surprised, very innocuous, very, you know, unassuming, very simple. She's very, you know, and I'm just like, you know, you go to all these fancy um, dental salons or dental surgeries and, you know, all they're interested in, the money to pay their, their high rents and it looks plush and it looks nice, but you end up coming out there traumatised. So, yeah, I've said enough. That's all for now. Bye-bye.